Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I am narrating over my past self because I did an absolutely terrible job explaining what I was doing. But before I go any further, um, what I have to say is there are some flashing images in this video um, because I did slow motion and it messed, my LED lights messed with the slow motion footage and there's lots of flickering and stuff and it wasn't, it's not very comfortable on the eyes and it might be an issue for pe people with epilepsy. So that's just putting that out there. Um, and I'm going to go over a lot of safety stuff here. And I'll put a timestamp for where you can skip to if you just want to see some capacitors blow up. Um, but be warned that if you decide to do this yourself and you didn't watch my safety stuff, uh, just don't complain to me if you get injured because some important notes here. Um, so, I mean, the first thing is capacitors. Um, you probably know what they are. They are an electronic component and uh, the particularly the electrolytic ones that like to explode. Um, and so when you purposely um, reverse the polarity, meaning you set negative to positive and positive to negative, um, it will it'll usually result in the capacitor heating up a lot and then um, pressurizing and either bursting through a vent or just exploding if there is no pressure vent. Now these capacitors don't really have any pressure vent. So what that means is they just exploded. They are old capacitors. The things with these explosions is that they're very loud, so you're gonna want hearing protection. You need hearing protection or it's gonna hurt. Um, you need a full face shield. I just wore safety goggles in the past when messing around with some exploding capacitors and I got hit square in the forehead with the body of a capacitor and it's actually almost left a scar there a circular capacitor shaped scar on my forehead because of a capacitor exploding. So you need a full face shield. Um, you might even want welding goggles, although I will, you'll see later on here why that might not be the best idea. But um, when you're dealing with high current electricity like I was doing, you basically have an arc welder and so it's very bright. So you're going to want some sort of welding goggles or you might. You, I didn't end up wearing them because you'll see why in a minute, but um, you might want that, just putting that out there. Um, ventilation is a big thing. These output a lot of stink when they explode. Big clouds, so you need ventilation. I did this all in a fume hood. Um, for the average person, probably just do it outside. And electrical safety is the final thing. Um, it does take a decent amount of current and everything to get these to explode. I used four lead-acid batteries and I mean, it's a little dangerous. I mean, I think probably four lead-acid batteries in series isn't the biggest deal, but I mean, it could be. Um, but that's all I have to say, so enjoy these nice shots of some capacitors blowing up. Hey look, it's that example of why you shouldn't wear a welding mask. I couldn't see what I was doing at all, and what I ended up doing, or what I was trying to do, was demonstrate the amount of power these batteries were putting out by like running some power through like a circuit board and causing some things to explode or whatever. But what I ended up doing instead was c directly short-circuiting the batteries through my wimpy little alligator clip lead, which promptly vaporized and caused this lovely cloud of smoke. So probably just a face shield is good enough and you shouldn't wear a welding mask. That's all I have to say, so back to the video. All right. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. But that does get the point across. So if you can't tell, I can't see anything through this mask. And what we just did is completely obliterate my alligator clip lead. All right, let's try this for real. One more. Alright, well, come on, that obliterated the lead. 
hey, hey, we're stopping the video again. Um, another point to make is don't point capacitors towards yourself when they explode, or you're going to have a messy, messy, messy shirt. Learn that one the hard way. That's pretty cool. 